Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to show you a portable power station that I think is the perfect companion for your brand new DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. Now, you can certainly use this product to charge and operate all of your portable devices, but it's almost like the company designed this to work perfectly with the Mini 3 Pro. Now, I'll get into why that's true in a minute, but it's the River Mini product from our good friends over at EchoFlow. Now, I've reviewed a lot of their products. They make a wide range of portable power solutions and solar panels, air conditioners, a lot of different things that are portable that contain batteries that you can use to operate those out in the field. And the reason I think this one is so special is because with the River Mini, they've kind of packed in what I consider to be the perfect balancing act between power, portability, and ports. The three Ps I like to talk about anytime discussing a portable power station. And what that means is you're taking this bundle of energy, this power plant with you out in the field, and you can deliver the energy that's stored inside that unit to all of your thirsty portable devices. And I'll explain how in a minute. Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this clip is we've gotten so many questions over the last couple of weeks about the best way to charge your Mini 3 at home, in your car, and out in the field when you're away from electricity. And we've come up with a few products to help you with that. We released a car charger a couple of weeks ago that's a three-port car charger. This does a great job in your car. You can charge the drone, the batteries, the controller, your phone, a tablet, uh, camera batteries, anything that plugs into a USB port, whether it's USB-C or USB-A, you can use this. It's also QC and PD deliverable. So it gives you everything you need to charge it in your car. We're just about to release a set of home chargers. I have one of those here. I'm kind of teasing you. These will be in stock in about a week. And this is something you can use at home. It's got a flip out plug in the end, plug it into a wall outlet. You've got three ports on the end, two USB-C and a USB-A. Again, PD delivery, QC delivery, perfect companion for your drone, the controller, the, whatever you need to charge that you can plug into a USB port you can use here. But the challenge has been, what about when I'm out in the field? Because all of us love flying our drones for as long as we can on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And when you charge them at home, or charge them in your car, when you finally get out to the field, where you're at that lake and you want to put the drone up, you want a way to recharge your batteries, to control your phone, whatever needs to have electrons put back into it so you can use it for longer periods of time. And that's where a portable power station like this comes in, because what this does is gives you the ability to carry this miniature power plant with you out there in the field and be able to charge all of your devices. So I mentioned power portability and ports. So let's start with portability. The challenge with most portable power stations is really around the word portable because some of them are gigantic. So they carry tons and tons of energy. And for a day out in the field when you're charging your drone, you don't need those gigantic portable power stations. I mean, those are great if you're going to spend a couple of days out camping or if you want one of the really big ones that EchoFlow makes for a whole home. So if you lose power, the thing kicks in and you can run your house on it. But when you're heading out for a day of flying, you want something that's small and portable. This one's only 6.3 pounds, which may sound heavy, but you have to remember there's a lot of batteries inside this unit. So it has to be a little bit heavy to carry that weight. But six pounds is about right for me. I'll take this, I'll take my drone case and I'm off in the woods. I don't have to go I don't have to go back and charge anything I can charge everything I need from this so portability is key now as far as power goes again there are much larger ones out there this one is a 210 watt hour capacity internally but the important thing is it'll deliver 300 watts of charging energy outside of the unit and the cool thing is Again, this company is brilliant in so many ways. They've built in this X-Boost technology that allows you to surge to 600 watts. So if you're plugging something in, like a power drill, okay, maybe you're not out in the field with a power drill, but if you're in your backyard and you gotta drill a hole in a fence or something, that power drill, when you first turn it on, is gonna draw a lot of inrush current because the motor has to spin up. But once the motor's spinning, that current requirement drops a lot. So this allows you to surge up to 600 watts and continuously draw 300 watts out of it. And that's a nice little benefit. And that's a proprietary technology from EchoFlow that allows you to have that surge protection. The other thing that's nice about it is they're using the latest versions of batteries in this. So they've got NCM batteries. They're not LiPos, they're NCMs, which is nickel, manganese, cobalt. And the important thing there is that those will retain energy very long. So they don't decay like other technologies, which means if you charge it on Tuesday, you can use it on Friday. It's gonna have most of its power still on it. They're also really good for different temperatures. So a lot of the portable power stations on the market that use standard LiPo batteries are not that great in cold weather and they're terrible in hot weather. This one, you don't have a problem. You can take it out in the summer, you can take it out in the winter. It's gonna work just fine for you. It also gives you a ton of recharge cycles where a lot of the LiPo batteries, as you start charging them over the years, you won't get a full charge out of it anymore. So you'll get this decay built in where it'll get to 70 or 80% of the charge and it can't deliver the current you need. With this one, with the NCMs, it's gonna work really well. Now I've had this thing almost a year and you can see from the top, it's been out in the field with me a lot. I've dropped it a bunch. Uh, it's a phenomenal product. It's just rock solid. 
The other cool thing about it is that the charging cycle, the time it takes to get the energy into the product is really important as well because a lot of the portable power stations on the market, most of them quite honestly, don't have a way of the charging station controlling that inrush current from your outlet at home when you're charging it. So with this one, you can charge it in one of three ways. You can plug it into the wall at home and charge it off a standard AC outlet. You can use a solar panel and plug it into the side of the unit. If you're out there camping for a couple of days, take a small solar panel with you, plug it in, and you can charge the unit. It also has an MPPT circuit built in. A lot of the solar panels out there, because of the way the sun moves around and there's clouds and such, don't deliver a consistent DC current. So a lot of times it'll be higher, lower, voltage will change. This has a governing circuit inside called an MPPT, which will take that energy and groom it to deliver it efficiently to the battery so you, you squeeze every little bit of electron out of that conversion process. That's really important. You can also charge it in your car. So it comes with a cable, plug it in your car, you can charge it while you're driving around. I'll explain more of that later because that's a cool feature. All right, so in addition to that, like I mentioned, a lot of the portable power stations in the market come with this external brick that you use for charging. So you'll plug that into your wall, you'll plug the other end of the cable into the portable power station, not this one, but the other guys. And the challenge with that is those conversion bricks really are there to turn the 120 volts AC in your home to a standard DC voltage that's delivered to the portable power station. And the challenge there is they're wildly inefficient, which means if you put a lot of energy into it, only a little energy is trickling out the other side, it's gonna take a long time to charge their portable power station. With this one, that circuit's built inside. It's called extreme charging technology. It's designed and proprietary to EcoFlow. And it also means you don't need an external charging brick. You basically plug the cord right into the side of the unit. All the AC to DC conversion is done inside the unit. It's done efficiently and it's done really quickly. So this unit completely depleted if you're charging it at home, about an hour and a half, about 90 minutes. But most of the time, if you bring it home with like 30% of charge in it, you can get up to 80 or 85% charge in less than an hour. And that's super important to me because if I forget to recharge it on a Saturday night and I want to fly on a Sunday, I wake up on Sunday morning and realize I haven't charged my portable power station. I'm making some coffee. I plug it in. By the time I'm done with my first cup of coffee, it's fully charged and I'm out the door and flying. So that, that's a major benefit to get the electrons into the unit safely and, and carefully. The other thing is there's an overarching battery management system built into this product, which not only governs the way that current gets in there and safely charges those batteries and grooms that charge so it doesn't damage the batteries, but that battery management system also protects all of the voltage and current it delivers to external devices. Now think about that for a second. This is not an inexpensive unit. It's not terribly expensive, but everything you're plugging into it added up is way more expensive than the cost of this unit. So if that battery management system isn't really sophisticated and isn't really good, you could damage all those external devices. And that's my concern with a lot of other brands of portable power stations is that they don't spend the time needed to understand how to deliver the internal charge to those external devices. These guys thought through this. So they've got a really sophisticated battery management system inside and I'll explain it in a minute. So I'd mentioned before about the number of ports. Well, you want to have all three ways of charging devices. So this one has a DC port in the top, which is a standard port, just like in your car. Anything you charge in your car, you can plug in there and you can charge to your heart's content. That's 12 volts at 10 amps. They also have two AC sockets on the side over here. Again, those are full-sized AC sockets. There's a hole in the middle. You can use a three-prong grounded outlet or a plug. Anything you plug in there, as long as it's 300 watts, you can use this to charge or operate that device. So power drills, lights, fans, whatever you're taking with you. Again, if you're flying your drone, you're probably not going to bring those with you. But if you're camping, it might be nice to plug those in. And then on the front, there's a ton of USB connections right here. So you've got three USB-A connections that are standard 5 volts at 2.4 amps each. And I said each, I didn't say combined, because a lot of the portable power stations in the market will put three USB-A ports on there, and it's maybe three amps between them, which means if you plug three things in at the same time, you're sharing that current between those devices. These are five volts at two and a half amps each, or 2.4 amps each, which is the maximum current you can use to charge external devices through a USB-A port. Also, and this is where it gets really brilliant, on the front there's a USB-C port, but it's not just a standard USB-C port, it's a USB-C PD or power delivery, and it can deliver 100 watts of charging power, which is insanely high. I mean, most of the USB-C ports on portable power stations can deliver 30 watts, 45 watts, maybe 60 watts, 100 watts means you can use that single port to charge everything I have here, you can use it to charge your Mavic 3 batteries. That's right, your Mavic 3 batteries. You can also use it to charge a laptop from this tiny little portable power station. So that's pretty incredible. On top of it, there are two versions of this unit. This one I have here is the wireless version, which is a couple of bucks more. They have a standard version as well. Now the difference between them is that on the standard version, you don't get the USB-C port. So my recommendation is if you're looking at this unit, go for the wireless one because you also get a wireless charger on the top of the unit. So if you're in the field and you've got your phone with you, maybe you're using a tablet to fly, 
You can drop any Qi compatible product on the top of this, your earbuds, your phone, your Android, your iPhone, whatever, and it'll actually recharge your phone wirelessly. So you've got a lot of different ways to deliver the electrons that are in the batteries to external devices, which I think is absolutely incredible. All right, the last thing I'll mention is the way I use this most days is in the morning when I'm leaving for, for uh, flying or the night before I'm going to go flying, I'll plug this into a wall outlet and I'll turn it on. Now, here's the interesting thing. I can use this as a universal charger for anything I plug into it. And the reason it can do that is it's got flow through technology, which means the energy heading into the unit to charge the internal batteries is shared with anything connected to the external ports at the same time. So I can charge external devices while I'm charging this. So one outlet gets plugged in and I plug all these things into it and I can charge it. And that's kind of cool at home, but where that becomes a big benefit is if you're out in the field. Now you've got it plugged into a cigarette lighter. You've got one outlet in your car you can plug into. You've now got the Swiss Army knife of charging technology in your car through that one outlet that can deliver 10, 10 amps of uh, 12 volts here, all the USB-C ports I'd mentioned, and two full-size AC ports on the side in your car. So you've got an inverter, you've got another DC port, and you've got a USB converter in there, uh, all in one unit that's plugged into your car. So for me, the way I use this is I'll plug it in my car when I'm flying, or say, when I'm driving between locations, and as I'm driving between those locations, I'll plug all these things in on the seat, plug this into my outlet, and I can charge everything at the same time while I'm charging the unit. So when I get to that location, I unplug it, I put all my cables away, I pack all my gear away, I pick this up, I pick my bag up, and I head out and have some fun flying. So it does a great job there. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention was how you can charge things from it. So the unit itself has one main power button on the front. If you hold it, it'll turn on. And then you have individual control for the DC, the USB, and the AC on the side. And that's a nice benefit because a lot of the portable power stations in the market has one have one main power button to turn it on. You turn it on, all the circuits get active, and you're wasting energy because the inverter's drawing current. You're not really using the power from it. USB's drawing current. So with this one, you can turn on just what you need. So if I want to use the USB, I'll turn on the USB here. If I want to turn on the DC, I can turn it on here and the same on the AC side. So let's start playing around with the unit. Let me turn on the USB. Okay, the USB's on. Let me turn on the DC as well. Let's turn them all on. What the heck? So I'll turn on the AC over here on the side. All right, so now those are all active, and you'll see indicators on here letting you know which circuit is currently active. The other thing I like is the display. It shows you exactly how much of a charge is left. Uh, it shows you how much time you've got uh, to charge with the amount of current that's still in the unit. And that's kind of cool because as you're plugging things in, you'll look at that, it's what, 19 hours, something like that. Now, when I plug things in, I'm drawing energy out of it. It's constantly calculating how much energy is still left if I leave all that stuff plugged in and how long I can continue to charge it. So that's kind of a cool metric. But anyway, so let me start plugging some stuff in. So if you've got a USB cable, USB-C to USB-C, you can plug that in. And you'll notice right away, I'll plug in the battery gate right here, the battery hub. It'll take a second. Did I turn on USB-C? I don't know if I turned on USB. I might have turned it off. Let's see. Nope, it's on. All right. And I'm not seeing it. Do I have a bad cable? Maybe I didn't plug it in. There we go. Okay. Scared me a little bit there. All right. So it takes a second to figure out, okay, I've got two batteries. Look, it's rapid charging. That's pretty cool. So it's rapid charging that. Now, again, the USB-A ports on here are standard 5 volts and 2.4 amps, so they can't fast charge anything else. But you can certainly plug everything else into it and charge it from it if you've got a USB-A cable and charge all your devices together. Now, where it gets really interesting for me is that since the DC port's active and the AC ports are active, I can actually use one of my car chargers that we designed from Drone Valley and plug that in the front here if I want and use another USB cable, which is what I do, USB-C, plug that in. And then, I don't know, let's charge the controller. Oh boy, there goes the controller. Oh jeez, Rick, you're breaking everything. All right, so it'll take a second for it to realize it. I'm rapid charging that. So I'm rapid charging the batteries, rapid charging the controller. Maybe I want to charge my drone. I don't know, let's give that a shot. I'll plug that into the other USB-C port here. Uh, plug the drone in. I got a battery in there. Takes a second for it to realize it's plugged in. Is it plugged in? I don't know if it's plugged in, Rick. Did you plug it in? Let's see. Oh boy, I should put my glasses on. I'm getting old here. Man, yeah, plug there. We are. There's the USB-C port. All right, back in. So we're back to charging the controller, and I'm charging the drone at the same time. Now the drone doesn't fast charge, but the drone doesn't fast charge anyway because it's a different charging circuit than the battery bank is. But again, fast charging these two at the same time, and I've still got other things I can charge. So I can plug, I can drop that on the top and charge my phone. If I want to fast charge other things, I can plug it side in. I've got the AC adapter right there. Uh, let me plug something else in. I'm out of stuff to charge. I got nothing left to charge, but you get my point. 
is that there's a lot of ways to draw the energy out of those batteries that are in there. And the best part is I can charge this from my car while I'm charging all these external devices. So for me, it's like the ultimate universal charger at home. It's also the perfect battery bank to take out in the field and use with all of my thirsty portable devices. And I've tested the smart controllers, the first and second generation work fine on here. They can rapid charge. The Mavic 3 batteries can rapid charge. Uh, if you've got portable gaming systems, they'll rapid charge. I, I even rapid charge my laptop off that 100 watt USB-C port. So everything I need is in a tiny little package. And again, I know you can get bigger units out there and I've reviewed a lot of them and I actually use a lot of them when I'm spending a couple of days out in the field. But if I'm only going out to fly for the day, I can charge this in the morning and it gives me plenty of stored energy to charge all of my devices when I'm out in the field and I come home with it about 30%. So it works out great for me. That's pretty much all I had for today. I'm just so jazzed about this product because I love that company EchoFlow. They really have thought through the perfect solution around a portable power station and they built in features and functions in this product you won't find on a lot of other portable power stations out there. So I like it a lot. I think it's reasonably priced. And for me, it's the perfect companion to take with me to never have to worry about where am I going to plug stuff in when I'm out in the field to recharge my gear because nothing's worse than having a beautiful Saturday or Sunday afternoon where you found that little secret lake off the road. You've never seen it before. You're flying and all of a sudden your batteries are low and you're like, man, if I could only get another hour of flying, this can fix that problem for you. So that's it. If you're interested in this, I've got links below where you can find it. I've got links below to this as well. We have these coming in tomorrow. These uh, external chargers for home will be in next week. I think they're arriving on the 10th, something like that. And I'll have two versions of that, a small one and a big one. So if you're interested in that, shoot us an email. I can put one aside for you and send it when we get them. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this uh, educational. I hope you found it informative because I love looking into technology and I'm always trying to find ways to enjoy my technology in ways that maybe I couldn't before. And something like this gives me the ability to do that out in the field. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, happy flying.